welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips. I hope you enjoy my videos, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing the WinX Video Converter Deluxe software. So let's go to the website first. Let's open up a web browser. I already have it open right here. The website is as follows, winxdvd.com dash hd hyphen video hyphen converter hyphen deluxe dash. Don't worry about writing this down. I will just put it in the description below. So here's a little bit about this software. The Video X HD Video Converter Deluxe is an all-in-one video processing tool. Integrating video converter, compression, editor, downloader, and slideshow maker. This program actually assists with converting HD 4K video shot from your iPhone or Android. It can even compress files like MP4s, MP3s, AVI. It can convert them, playback iPhone, iPad, the whole lot. It can basically do anything you need it to on this software. It supports editing Cutting, trimming, cropping, merging, and rate frame resolution ratio, and uploading and sharing with your friends. So, first I'm going to show you how to actually download the software. So, like I said, you would go to this website, which will be in the description below. And then you would download, for Windows users, you would download the free trial here. This is a, you will have to pay after a certain amount of days in the free trial. And you can buy it through here and buy full license, which the pricing is $29.95 and then there's obviously support purchase benefits etc you can pick a lifetime license for one computer which is $69.95 originally $199.95 and there's also obviously free updates free support etc so let's go back and here is, you can see that it's for Windows. And then underneath, if you're a Mac user like myself, you would actually click this. Left click on that. And then here it just gives you a little bit of a description. And you would hit download here for your free trial. And then when that free trial expires, then you would obviously have to buy it now. I have it actually already downloaded on my computer. So we'll minimize that. And right here, it'll say WinX HD Video Converter for Mac. We're gonna open up this. And for the first time, if you're doing the trial version, you will get prompted with this. And your options are either, you can buy it now, if you have a code you can find the code in your email or and you would have to type in your email and then the license code that is provided in the email itself so right now i'm just going to hit remind me later and i'm just going to show you guys some quick 
quick and cool features that are on here. So in video, you can pick any video you want. So I'm just going to pick this one. I will open it. And then here you will get a pop up on exactly what kind of video you want to convert it to. So right now I have my con my video is a .mov, which is this guy, which is an Apple QuickTime format. And I'm gonna change it to a 4K MP4 video. And you hit done. And just like that, you let it do its thing. You let it convert. And then you would come back and then check it. And then you would be able to download it. Another cool feature is in the photos. You would actually be able to convert any kind of photo to you know, JPG. Um, I'm blanking on all the other ones. PNG. And yeah. Another cool feature is the YouTube downloader, downloader, which I thought was pretty cool. So let me just get out of that for a quick second. Let's go back to the browser and I will open up a YouTube video and we'll go to my channel and just any video in general copy URL and we will go back to the win video is that guy open up and here to download the video you would actually just go to this guy add YouTube URL and then from there you would just copy and paste the URL, which is like the address of the website. And then we would left click on analyze. Let that load up. And then here we would actually have a whole bunch of different options. So what kind of format it is, the size and then the resolution. So for this video, we'll just do let's do MP4 at 1920 times 1080. And then you would left click OK. And then here it would start downloading the video itself. And you would just wait and let that go. And you could also see if this works and there you go so you would have to click download now and then it would start converting we'll let this run and now it's finished oh and actually you would have to show yeah so it would already download so let's go back so we would already download it, and then you would right click, and then show in Finder. And then it would be in your Mac video library already. And then it would be right here, and then you could just double click, and then play the video. Just like that, and the video would start playing. And that's it for that one. Can X this guy, and then it would bring us back. Also, forgot to mention that you have to click Run, but because it's a free trial, we're gonna have to wait a couple seconds and then let it go, and then the software would convert which is fantastic and it's one of the fastest converters that I've ever come across of and came across and it's just a great piece of software in general. I'll just stop it 
as I'm sure you guys know, and there it is as well. It's already in the file that was mentioned earlier, which is the Mac video library. And if you don't know where that is, then you would have to go to your HD. So mine would be Patrick's HD and then users, your file name. So whatever you name your computer, movies, Mac video library, and then it would be there. Or like I said, you can just you can just right click and then show in folder and it would show in folder. Sorry, show in folder right there. And there's also a camera feature where you can actually show yourself and take a video of, you know, yourself if you're trying to make a video for YouTube. I'm not going to show you my face. So we'll just X that. And then obviously recorder as well. So that was for the photos. So camera photos. And then this is a recording. So you can record videos or whatever you would like. And then clear an option to just what you would do with the with the video that you're so let's say I wanted to clear this I would just hit clear and it would go away options would be where the destination of the video so if you actually want instead of that folder that I showed you you want it on your desktop you can just put it on your desktop like that by hitting the three dots and then navigating to the desktop and then just hitting open and then that's it. And then you can shut down computer after conversion, add MP4 files to iTunes library. So like if you're converting a song or yeah, converting a song or like YouTube, like if you, there's a YouTube song and you're converting it to MP4, then it can, you can actually add it to the iTunes library by checking this off, which is actually very handy because it can be sometimes tedious going into iTunes, trying to find the file, and then putting it on there, waiting for, waiting for it to load up. So it's actually pretty interesting and pretty convenient to have that feature. And that's pretty much it. I highly recommend this software. It's very easy, fast to download, converting everything. Highly recommend. You guys should definitely get this. With that being said, I'm How To Tech Tips. I hope you enjoy my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and keep teching on.